Hello everyone, my name is Garrett O'Gamber, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. This is Alpha 9.1, and there are a few utilizations they've, they've changed in the game, including the randomized worlds. They've added in 35 new randomized locations that can spawn within these random worlds, um, which may include uh, military camps and other... Uh, sort of industrial sites and things like that, so that's pretty cool to hear from. This does mean that my game world is going to be corrupted, I'm very sure of it, so I'm going to have to start over again. We're going to do what we did a while back, is where we're going to go into creative mode, show you the new stuff now, and then play for real. Um, including many of these changes, they've also... Um, changed some of the recipes and they've uh, altered some things. They've also added a new item to the game called the Claw Hammer. Um, I'm not entirely certain what it's supposed to do. They claim that it's supposed to allow you to maintain things better than the axe. So this is definitely an item you want to get. Um, but it seems to be bound to a specific book, the Home Maintenance book, which was common before, but I don't know if it will be anymore. Um, so we'll see what we can do about that. So we're going to create a new game here. Survival, Random Gen, Random Gen World, 9-1. Alright, so let's get into this, shall we? Alright, well welcome back to Seven Days to Die, and... Yeah, this is the claw hammer. So yeah, you can repair things. Wow, that is that's some good hammering. Let's see how it does against zombies. Come here, buddy. Come here. Wow. Okay, that's pretty powerful. I'm assuming this is gonna take iron to make. Whoa! Yeah, we kicked his ass. So let's see if we can find. Any of the new areas that spawned in? Uh, this is an interesting road. It'd be potentially hazardous to just drive through. Hello? Is there any new stuff around here? I hear you, zombie. I think the only problem with this uh, generation is that if you haven't discovered an area, you get that white line. I had to. I couldn't resist. He was, you know, just looking at me funny, so... I decided to fly down there and beat him in the head. Nice little hill going on over there. Hello, Mr. Hill. Mr. Hank Hill. <laughs> They said they changed something about, like, dropped items, and I don't really see what they changed. They look the same. I don't know, maybe they changed the text. I have no idea. I'm so confused. Well, I found some random gen homes, and... I have no idea if this is supposed to be. Uh, if this is part of the new generation system or the old generation system. But it's really cool to see this. Hello, goodbye. I'm a time. Stop. Yeah. Stop taking your hands. I want to see it. House appears oh, to uh, 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 appear to be a vacant. Uh, there's nothing in here. Well, I mean, there's loot, but no survivors. There's just random stuff everywhere. Don't mind me while I go inside your house. Alright. 
Oh god. There's a basement. <laughs> there is a basement. Stop it! Maybe I want to live here. Yeah. He's dead. Alright, well we're just gonna put that stuff back that we picked up. Maybe I wanna live here. I don't know. It's kinda cool though, the way uh basement looks different. Alright. It's pretty badass. I like it. Alright, well I'm gonna show you guys how much better the hammer is because I have my doubts. But it should be better because it is actually a carpenter's hammer. And I believe that we had discussed this a while ago saying that, oh, they might add a carpenter's hammer at some point, and they did. So this is your traditional axe, and this is your carpenter's hammer. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! Have these. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's gonna be so sweet. So, what we have to do is actually get the home maintenance book. To be able to craft this. And. Dear Lord. Oh, that is. That is just amazing. Wow. Um. So, we need the home maintenance book. Let's look that up. Repair tool. Oh no. You need number two. There's different twos. No. There's stuff. And it's, it's, well. Okay, so we learned it. Now. Where would it be? Hold on. Maybe, maybe, uh... Maybe we need to learn one, two. I don't know, it says... There. Oh, repair. That was it. Okay, well... Oh, that's actually not that pricey. So you need two pieces of metal. After you, you know, after you get the ingots, you turn them into metal. And, uh, there's a stick. And there you go. That's your claw hammer. And you can build super fast and destroy things super fast. Because <laughs> it's not half bad as a weapon either. Um, yeah. That's pretty darn neat. And there wasn't a lot else they added to this um, other than changing a few things here and there. So I'll talk about the changes here in a second. So a lot of the changes involve animations, um interface switches, things like that. Uh, they changed some weights, or at least set it some weights for items to be a little, I don't know, heavier or something like that. Not that weight is even an issue in this game at the moment. Um, there's, there's a few interesting little things here and there. There's mini-map features, there's uh, something to do with the whole searching for items kind of thing. And he's gonna strike me. No, nope, he's just gonna... <laughs> Yourself, he's gonna stare at me. We're gonna bid him adieu. Give him a torch. Fly off like some magical creature. Woo! They said they changed the max zoom out on the map. Well, that's a little bigger. We went a long way. Yeah, there's that weird road we came across. Huh. Okay, well that's a neat little interface tweaky. Mr. Tweaky. Ooh, it's Mr. Tweaky. Yeah. No, we're just we have the power right now to fly away. Hey, look what we found. Random buildings that are all in shambles. Oh, they're, they're so gnarly looking. I love it. Back ends are always destroyed on these homes. I don't know what happened. Hello, I'm in the floorboards. Shot in the house. Oh god, no. Alright, well I'm gonna end this uh little introduction here.
and actually get to setting up the game. I just broke my legs. Great. <laughs> um, and get to playing the actual game. I'm not going to use this game world because I've been flying around and I already know where things are, so that wouldn't be any fun. So brace yourself for the real adventure to 9.1. I don't like you. Come here. Mac. Yeah, victory! Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, well, I've been spawned in at an apartment complex. And I was telling you guys I would like to live in an apartment complex in this game. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, however, this is going to severely limit our wood collection. As this is one of the worst places to collect wood. But I think it will be really neat going from room to room killing things. Um, so first thing on our agenda is to get ourselves an axe because we don't have a weapon and uh, you know that, that could be a, that could be a bit of a bother. Um, I have also set the zombies to default speed like they were before. So you know if they decide to it's dark they can run at me and I will be sad. Just shh, shh. You're just punching your bush. It's all right. It's completely normal. Completely average. All right, that was that was a little wrong. Uh, so we're gonna punch more of these quick thingies. I need some little stones. Ah, they don't let up, do they? I think that's where the crafting system loses itself a bit. That the zombies can still move when you're crafting. Or at the very least, that the crafting menu is so fidgety while you're doing this. Yeah, you can give me some delicious snacks. Meat snacks. Not zombie snacks. Just like, you know, you've been killing some bacon. Maybe you can give me some. Nope. Smack. screenshot and I nearly died because of it. This zombie had a plethora of stuff which I'm very happy for. Um can I smack a you? Smack a you? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so pro. I'm so pro. Not really. Not really. Here we go. Yeah, she didn't have as much as her sister, but all right. Giggity goo. I'm gonna take some wood because that is something we're gonna be running out of very quickly in this game. I hear something behind me. Ah, these trees are tough. <laughs> Why the hell not? Hey! Mac! Yeah, you get to die. You get to die in a fire. I'm just smacking my tree. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Now you have my full attention. That attention is death. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Okay, I don't know where he came from, but that wasn't cool. Okay. You could not do that, big zombie man. Hey, he destroyed a tree for me. Thank you. Oh, and we blew up. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. Welcome to hell. Where the hell am I? I am 
somewhere really far away from where I was. There we are. I'm gonna go this way, but we have nothing on us because we died. I'm gonna get a torch made because we're gonna need a torch when night comes. Um, this would be a perfect opportunity to get trees, actually, so... Let's make these. Let's get some twigs, if we can. And get some cotton while I'm here. I dropped all my cotton in the last um, few episodes, and... You know, kind of regret that at some point because I just didn't have the patience to do anything with it. Um, so I'm going to grab some of these here. I need some sticks. Can't find any. Oh, they're being very generous with the uh, feathers lately. Zombies everywhere. You sound incredibly close. How did you get oh, oh my goodness! Rape! Rape! Oh god. No. <laughs> How did they get so close so fast? Well, they improved the AI and the B. I remember when you couldn't go through bushes and shit. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Okay. I should really be searching through these new menus to find my stuff, but it's so brand new. Find I don't have the patience for it. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your master? Who's your master? I am. That's right. Alright. I did not go through hellfire to be taken out by a bee. A hornet. Whatever. Oh, hi. You're, you're mighty close. Ow. Ah. No way. I'm chopping those trees. Come on. Stop it. I'm actually half awake right now. So oh, shit. It's not cool. Where do you keep coming from? Stop it. Shut up! Can't you see him killing my zombie friends that I just made? I swear to God, if you bite me again. I swear to God. Oh my goodness! How am I gonna survive this? They're flailing around, they're just beating my head in, and. If you didn't notice, that little icon whenever you get hit is when you're clobbering you. So you've taken blunt... Oh, God, shit! Where did you come from? There was nobody there! Okay, this is going to be one of those rage episodes, isn't it? Yeah. Sad, sad. Oh, my God. Sad. It's amazing. This is this is this is a trying time. Shut up. Oh great! Now I'm bleeding to death. Great, just lovely, and I have nothing to heal myself with. I don't have enough time to make any cloth. Let's see if I can get. Good, I'm dead again. And I'll never know where my original bag was. Not that it matters, really. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, seven days to die, thou art a heartless bitch. Hello, this is Bear Grylls Survival Tactics. Now, you want to know the bitch of survival. If you fail, you end up spawning around here. But here's the best part. After spawning around here and dying right there, you lose access to finding your freaking backpack. It's okay, it's still there, you just never see it again. But guess where I spawned? Way the fuck over here! It's alright though, I'm Bear Grylls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... We're gonna look around our surroundings. 
I'm gonna stop recording for a moment. We're gonna see the zombie that mysteriously spawned in front of us. We're gonna punch her. Because she's a bitch. And I'm Bear Grylls. We're gonna take her meatballs and pull out this bone we have. And this other one, because we can for some reason. And turn it into a shivin. Look at me! I've got a club made of meat! And I'm smacking it on a rock for no apparent reason. I've also got a shiv. We're gonna use it on this guy. Because we're gonna make him watch his own death. Look at that, he just killed himself. What a noob. Alright, so after killing every zombie in existence, we're gonna get our bearings again. We're the fuck out here. Why are we over here? I don't know. We're gonna look around. A bit outnumbered. And then we're gonna eat some magical duty for the and that's how we do it, a Bear Grylls way. Because I like to get hella powdered everywhere. Woohoo! Yay. We got this uh, fine line going on over here. And yeah, that's a desert biome. Shitty desert biome. I didn't want to use my creative mode again. But frankly, after dying over and over and over again I get a little irritated and <laughs> I'm gonna be flying around and look at that we got a building <laughs> it's the big city uh, we're back uh oh no 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 please no spider-man <laughs> okay oh we made it through that we're all right <laughs> it's tingly <laughs> oh shit um all right. Well, we're we're almost where we were before, and people are spamming me on scurp. Uh, so we're gonna fly through. Uh, oh, this is unavoidable. No. Uh, close shave. Yeah, that's legitimate. Using my unique Bear Grylls God powers, I have located the location of the place where I died. And I will tell you this, there will be a reckoning. I swear to God, if you blow up my bag, you piece of shit. Oh. It's gonna blow up. Poop. Yeah, it makes it like a grizzly farting sound as he dies. It's really disturbing. Okay, well, I have no chance in hell of relocating my other bag, so... Yay. Hey, we got a bag of stuff that isn't really that good. Oh, shit. Okay, well... This has been interesting. Um, in the next episode, the real episode, uh, we will... Er, uh, being living in the apartment complex and hopefully accomplishing a lot more than I am now. What are you saying I'm flying away? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Garrett O'Gamber, and if you'd like to see more Seven Days to Die, check out my channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe, and this damn hornet is just... is giving me space rabies. Come on, just... I want it! I want to touch you with my knife. Oh, he thinks he stands a chance. Just because he's got the wit. What the hell are you? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You brought a friend. You bought a friend, and I told you. I told you it's just gonna be me and you. But no, you don't choose the rules. Like a little douche. Brick house! Ah. Ah.